an AMI digital exclusive. Nesma be transcending. Today I'm at Big Bro's Barbershop getting my hair cut by the owner, Jesse. He's also a trans man, so together we unpack trans life. Like if you're clocking someone as trans, I feel like there's almost more like overcompensation of like, can I get anything for you, sir? Sir, Mr. <laughs> sir, man, just so you know I see you, sir. <laughs> there will also be the people who are trying to overcompensate and be very like queer savvy and knowledgeable by being like, I see that you have a short haircut and a beard, and that's okay, I respect your womanhood just the same. <laughs> You're like, no, that's not <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> As opposed to, how do you self-identify? Exactly. Yeah. Normally with a barber, I get to show up and bring my man to the haircut, bring Ness to the haircut, but not trans Ness. I will say the one time I got like anti-trans hostility versus just like, ignorance or like yeah. not knowing what to say. I had bottom surgery a few years ago. The surgeon's team is incredible, but the surgeon's team doesn't train the nurses who wake you up immediately after surgery. Nope. That nurse referred to me as this young lady. Oh yeah. Despite like, like mm -hmm. no one misgenders me anymore. Like no. everyone recognizes me as a dude and the only thing she knew about me was that I was there for a dick. Showing up in a trans space immediately opens the door to pretty much talk about anything because when you can show up as trans, you can talk about your entire authentic self. I actually had that this year. The surgeon being really trans affirming and then coming out of anesthetic and being misgendered. Right. Like, what is that? We just connected. I really needed that and I didn't know I needed it. Stream more AMI original content at AMI.ca.